Hi, welcome to Rajal Nai. In today's session, I'm going to explain about uh, a case study which is uh, relating to customer loan management software for an organization which is something relating to microfinance. As you all know, this is the these are the series of videos I'm making uh, in reference to the case study or a project based explanation for uh, the benefit of uh, business analyst people, whoever wants to acquire some knowledge as a business analyst and who wants to transform their career to a BA. Along with this, this also will be useful for the people who are belongs to IT because most of the people have technical knowledge. In terms of the technology, they can well, they may have well experienced, but in reference to the domain part or when they're trying to understand the project or a product. As I have seen some people, I don't say everyone, but I do, I see some people were finding difficulties in understanding as well as explaining this to the people when and wherever it is needed. So hence, this is becoming a difficult and challenging thing for most of the people as I've seen uh, in some people. By keeping all this into mind, how to understand a case study or a project and how do we explain? This is something essentially important on this regard, these series I am making. Let's get into the topic now. As I mentioned in the beginning, this topic as well as the case study I have taken is uh, developing a custom loan management software by a company called Qlient because Qlient is an organization having uh, more than 17 years of experience in the field of uh, product development in especially in finances, banking finances, all that. So they are developing a uh, exclusive custom loan management software for uh, their client, one of their client who is from microfinance company. Initially, to begin with, first of all, we need to introduce it, right? So when we are giving introduction, we have to give introduction about the customer. Assume that you are a BA or you are into the vendor side where you guys were developing the application. Assume that you are from Qlient, right? So because you are the vendor side where you are developing an application. First of all, you have to provide explanation about your customer. Your customer is into financial services, uh, sector, uh, whereas as a micro as a microfinance company, having a, they have offices across the US and all in different places. Their major uh, nature of the job, right? So their major job nature of the job is here with I'm highlighting customer loans they provide to different different customers, including personal loans. Even people have some bad credit or uh, also they can provide some personal loans to them. At the same time, they offer uh, flexible repayment plans and all everything to individuals for financial needs. So this is what the nature of business, which a microfinance company or a customer uh, business is all about. Nature of businesses is. In this business process, while they are managing the customer loans, right? so providing customer loans and all that, managing the customer records, all that. Here, they have to maintain some loan management software. So this loan management software for any financial institution will be useful to centralize customer and financial data. At the same time, it also automate lending and borrowing processes at the same time to control the loan repayments, how many, how many people have paid, whether are they paying in uh, on time or not. So everything will be seen by that. This is what generally it is. But whatever the loan management software microfinance company is using, there was some problem, the challenge I can say. They, it didn't provide a full scope of necessary functionalities and it couldn't be efficient to customize to the customer specific loan management needs. This was the major problem which this client is facing with the existing application of loan management which they were using. They were already using, point to be noted, but what they found is that it is not providing a full scope of necessary functionalities and it is not efficiently working according to the customization of uh, specific customs, uh, customer specific loan management needs and all that. At the same time, it will be failed in uh, 
pre-building the tools failed into smooth uh, integrate with customers cooperation software and external systems as well is also a problem so hence customer wants to decide by creating a customer uh, by creating a custom loan management software according to their business requirements and business needs. That's what generally a customer has decided. So further, they have identified, this is where you need to explain what exactly your organization is all about, right? So for that reason, they have identified Qlient. Qlient is an organization, it's a software com product company, I can say, right? So they have more than 17 years of experience in the field of software product development, especially into financial services. So what they have done is that they have identified Qlient as a solution provider they have approached and they're expecting some solution to be provided for the problem what they're facing, right? So this is what generally the context was. In reference to the case study when you're trying to explain, so this is how you have to, first of all, you need to provide an introduction about what your customer was, may not be disclosing the customer details or that, but on a high level note, you have to explain about the customer uh, to whom you are dealing with and what nature of services they were into. Second point, you need to mention the challenge, right? So what kind of challenge, a business challenge or a business need customer has. Again, as to that, we need to uh, give an introduction about what we are and what expertise we are being a solution provider as a vendor and what solution are we going to give and what are the benefits features etc etc right so this is what generally was apart from that last but not least once it is done it's completed if you are a business analyst what roles and responsibilities being a ba you have rendered will be added to this or else if you are a developer or if you are a tester or if you are into some other roles, you need to explain your roles and responsibilities in context to the project. So please do remember, as I mentioned in the beginning also, the video which I am making in reference to this case study majorly focused for a business analyst people, but not only it is useful for BA, because explaining about the case study or a project remains constant for everyone. That is nothing to do with BA or maybe for another role. So once we have explained all the benefits, features, all that stuff, if, if, if a person who is applying in business or a job opportunity for a BA, he explains from the business analyst perspective, right? So being a BA, what is that I'm doing, right? So what and how I have managed, how I understand it, the requirements, all this being a BA, he'll speak, he or she will speak. But when a, a person who is applying a job opportunities for a developer or a tester, you know, he, what are the roles and responsibilities they were giving is some completely relating to their profile. I mean, they spoke, they speak more about the technicalities. So what technology they have used? What was the existing technology customer has? Which technology now we have started, initiated with you? So this is how our presentation was. right? So this is how it is. Now, coming back to the point. So this is where generally we need to explain what Qlint is all about and whichever the company you're working as an IT, I'm saying. Here I have taken an example for a company called Qlint. This is what generally it was. Now, in regard to that, these are the functionalities. So functionalities of uh, this uh, loan management system is about automating and creating submission of loan application and contracts, which initially important to start with. At the same time, automated verification of customer credit rating, because nowadays, as you know, based on the credit rating, whatever the credit rating an individual has, based on the civil score, et cetera, et cetera, loans will be provided, right? So based on the payment track record, what the customer has previous, that is important. Next, automation of generation of loan documents in compliance to the relevant federal and state regulations, because rules and regulations of that respective government Right, so uh, country or a government, right? Whatever the rules and regulations, the respective rules and regulations they have, in in uh, taking in that into an account, this generation of loan documents, automation of generation of loan documents will happen. At the same time, configurable dashboards, which will be useful in real time updates and as they generate loans, receive due payment loan uh, loan payments, etc., will also be one more functionality. 
Next, automated debt collection processes is, is also one of the point. At the same time, scheduling and ad hoc reports on credit applications and repayments when there is required, because there will be some ad hoc reports which might be used and required by uh, the organizations, um, by, the, uh, by the people who are providing solutions and all. So these are the functionalities as far as QLint itself is concerned is delivering. That's what it was. You can see QLint team is delivering the following functionalities based on the business requirements, what they have understood. Again, I'm repeating the functionalities. One is about submission of loan applications and contracts is the first one. Second, verification of customer credit rating, like their civil score, et cetera, et cetera. Auto generation of loan documents in compliance to the relevant federal and state regulations. Means every country, they have their own uh, uh, rules and regulations will be there. Either it could be federal or state. So that has to be taken into an account. Next, to configurable dashboards with real-time updates is also one more functionality. Followed by this, scheduling ad hoc reports is also one of the functionality. So these are the functionalities in context to loan management system. QLint is providing for the customers by understanding this. Now, what end of the day the result was, right? What was the result is what it was. The result here is that in 2022, QLint has been collaborating with customers about two years. That's what they did. During this time, customer got a comprehensive loan management solution built from the scratch according to the specific business requirements. The QLint people who are the solution provides expert advises the optimal software architecture functionality and technical stack, as well as the reasonable approach to resource management, which will be helped in opt uh, optimizing the customer's project budget, ensuring high quality of the solutions, all that. So whatever expected by the customer, in context to the business problem what they are facing, these people were providing a solution accordingly. Now, for this, as it is an application we are developing, what kind of technology and tools are we using is important. Here, the technologies and tools were given. You can see here, .NET Core they have taken. At the same time, of course, they have taken even Angular uh, JS, uh, Angular uh, JS as well. At the same time, TypeScript, Bootstrap, and Microsoft Azure Cloud, because this is an application which is developing on cloud environment so that they don't require any infrastructure to be managed as separate. Right? So infrastructure management and all other things will come down as it's a cloud application. At the same time, Azure DevOps services they are using because nowadays, especially in the field of IT, Azure DevOps, the integration of Azure DevOps is required. So both uh, DevOps environment, both the development team and operations team has to work together. For that, Azure DevOps is a tool which normally we are using where in this uh, Windows Windows Azure it was in DevOps environment, like creating some uh, CA, CD is all that, right? So you can, you can take it, you can hear, we can, right? So CA, CD pipelines, right? So all these things can be implemented using this uh, Azure DevOps services. That's what it is. At the same time, Docker containers, followed by this testing for testing they have used uh, selenium as well as locust so this is how and what generally this core this application is all about this case study is all about so i hope uh, you got an idea how to understand all that so and moreover this case study is completely relating to banking right? so either it could be banking uh, core banking or retail and, uh, investment banking related stuff right so this is a this uh, a study belongs to bank and domain. So this is all for uh, this video. If you have any questions in regard to it, if you have any needs, please reach out to the contact details, which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.